What's up, Cancer? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting August 19th, 2024. Cancer, my fellow crabs, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the uh, Psychic Tarot created by John Holland to deliver your messages. Uh, just want to cleanse the energies from Dawn Gemini's messages and we shall begin with your messages. Uh, before I begin, I want to take this time out to, um, you know, thank you guys for um, sticking with me and, um, you know, supporting me in my channel. I know it's been difficult uh, on my end <coughs> in terms of uh, experiencing, you know, low volume uh, in terms of, you know, new subscribers and, and viewers and stuff. Um, but, you know. I still not have come to any commitments in terms of what I'm going to do with that. So I'm just going to continue forward. Also to uh, Cancer, before I begin your messages, this deck here, which I haven't used in a long period of time, contains seven chakras. So if you receive any of the chakras, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong. But if you do, it could just simply mean that the you know particular chakra that shows up is activated within you this week. All right. And then I'll definitely add you know my spin to any chakras that um, may show up on your spread all right so what's coming up for uh, cancer potential energies for cancer this week oh last week let me just tell you this quick story here you know we received the tower right i remember yeah because my week last week was so horrendous it wasn't even funny um i got into uh squabbles with my boss we were going back and forth um i ended up having a fender bender i ran into a back of a truck <laughs> i'm like what the hell and i'm like what else could go wrong this week it was just hor you know horrendous and so this is why i say when the tower shows up it may or may not impact you on a personal level but when it does it usually does okay and there's nothing that you can do about it well I survived it and, you know, moving on. Hopefully the energies are much better for us this week, or at least for me. Okay. But there was so much going on. It was just unreal. And I said, oh my gosh, it is the tower. I remember getting the tower for the uh, cancer reading. All right. That's just for cancer. What is going on for cancer? What's coming up? First card and message for you, cancer. Well, we got our own card here, the uh, chariot to represent. So triumph is what's written on the bottom of the card. Uh, so yeah, there's a rapid change of positive energy that is moving towards us directly. Um, of course, I always read the uh, chariot as, you know, the typical stuff is somebody could be purchasing a new car, traveling, you know, whether it's vacationing, work-related matters, business matters, if you are, you're safe to and from, right? I always say don't be the cancer that gets behind the, <laughs> the wheel of a vehicle and, you know, disregard the speeding limit because you will end up with a moving violation. Now, that was not like my instance um, last week when I ran into the back of the truck, we, there was some sort of construction going on and I was yielded in and then I just happened to look over or down at my armrest for one second. The next thing I know, boom, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So it, it jolted me. It jarred me. My neck was stiff for a couple of days, but anyway, enough of that. So yeah. I equate this with the star card, right? So this is social networking, social media, always in a positive sense. So you could be just, you know, engaging in whatever your favorite social energy is in, or I'm sorry, and it could be just, you know, entertaining family members and friends, romantic partners, could be looking for work, could be looking for romance, whatever the situation is. The scarf around his neck here, however, I always pick up when I use this deck that someone could be experiencing... Um, you know, either throat problems, could be a minor sore throat, nothing really major that I pick up, but it also could be some sort of form of restriction of, you know, something to say to someone that needs to be expressed. That's how I see that. Okay, so that's the chariot here. Up next for us, Cancer, is the conflict and defeat. I'm going to put that right on top of the chariot. Five of swords, and of course the words is conflict and defeat. Sorting out some sort of mental energies, uh, cancer this week, internally, externally, could be involving 
other people are not. I always um, suggest that, you know, don't get yourself tripped up in terms of uh, engaging in anyone who is trying to, you know, um, play mental games with you and mess with your mind. And then also to cancer now, since it's on the uh, vehicle card, so it could be that somebody is envious of a vehicle that you have or something else that you possess. Okay. Following the conflict and defeat, now we got the harmony card, which is the major arcana, the lovers. All right. So cancer, when the lovers is in your spread, the interactions that you have with those people who are closest to you, whether they're strangers or not, it could be, you know, that the lovers comes and unite you with new friends, platonic friendships, definitely romantic partnerships, could be even business partnerships. It's an even playing field, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another, uh, spending quality time with uh, family members, romantic partners, and friends, okay? So um, your interactions with people this week should not be difficult. This could also be that someone gets married. I always have to throw that in there. And just, you know, take heed of the word harmony. Everything is harmonic or will feel harmonic for you, balanced also as well. Then we have the major arcana, the magician, awareness. And the magician, two sides that I read, um, spiritual rings around these characters usually in this deck, yeah, usually in, indicate spiritual energy. On the positive end is what we're trying to manifest and what we're trying to, you know, uh, bring into our lives in terms of desires. So whatever that is in, in cancer, if you're in the form of, you know, uh, doing prayers, mantras, affirmations, you know, throw it out there to the universe or whoever you pray to, you know, stay committed to it, then leave it alone. And then just have patience and faith that whatever it is that you are praying for, asking for, you will receive. The negative end here, we still, I read this as an actual person, have to be careful of strangers, family members, and friends who are into uh, a sort of control, manipulative, um, extracting behavior. Okay. We're intuitive. Most of us are highly intuitive. We'll know the difference. That, you know, we'll see this action if it does express itself uh, towards us that, you know, ain't nobody going to pull no wool over cancer's eyes because <laughs> we just in our gut no shit right off the bat. Boom. Now we have our first chakra here and it's the base chakra. This is the first chakra that starts all the chakras off. This uh, chakra here, cancer, has a lot to do. Now, it could be activated. But it also, you know, involves uh, a sense of stability, groundedness. Um, it's located in the spine. It's sort of like a foundation of building on your life in a good way. It represents safety. Um, if it is not activated, then we could be, you know, experiencing um, a sense of, you know, insecurity uh, instability, uh, scattered energy or energies being scattered, um, you know, uh, possible anxiety or fear. All right. So we have the base chakra, root chakra. Now we have fertility, another major arcana here. This is the emperance here, cancer. So the emperance is always about something new growing, developing, or expanding. She has a ring around her head. So spiritual energies, it's a card of abundance, it's a card of pregnancy news. It's a card of childbirth. Um, this is always, you know, Mother Nature. You know, she uh, her hair is like a tree. You can see the hair, but the, you see trees coming from that hair. Um, so, it, it, you know, I always, you know, refer to this card as the card of beauty. So it could be that you're going to hairdresser appointments, um, nail salon appointments, um, you know, exercising more, changing your diet. Uh, just feeling, you know, trying to improve the overall uh, energy of yourself, loving yourself more, loving others more, being at peace, um, definitely uh, knowing your value and your worth when it comes to other people. And it has a lot to do with uh, self-respect, too. All right. So you got the Empress here. Powerful major arcana. Up next here we have. Oh, now we got. Oh, God damn it. The tower is here again okay cancer i did not wheel this up <sighs> fortunately 
for us, we have the chariot, our own energies, the lovers, the positive end on the uh, magician. We have the Temperance to take down that tower's energies substantially. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. So you can see the man, it's like he's behind a brick wall. He's in a straight jacket. The straight jacket emphasizes our lack of control. So it's something that, you know, when it does express itself, shocking and devastating energies, we cannot control it. That's why he's in a straight jacket, right? Disruption. So it just means that. Cancer, this week we have the possibility of, you know, hopefully crossing my fingers. We didn't have as many powerful um, other major, arc positive, you know, major arcanas in our spread, I don't recall, um, last week. So maybe this week it would be so much better. But it still would involve anything, um, including our weather, politics, um, it could be, you know, shocking or devastating news that comes through or, you know, globally, worldly, it could be community, um, anything involving the wars that are still ongoing, just a nasty card. So, you know, it mirrors over here to the, um, oh, I know what it is, it mirrors over here to our own energy, the uh, chariot and... Uh, <laughs> Okay, so there is one message that I'm getting that I'm linking with that connection alone, Cancer. We have to be careful of tire blowouts or something going on with our tires and our vehicles. Okay? Just giving you the heads up. All right, so uh, on top of that, we have, okay, so we have the Justice card that balances all of that energy out. Thank God for that. So this is... Um, the justice card, so things being in our favor, things um, balancing themselves out, feeling, you know, a need to feel liberated, expressing your freedom. Um, it could be some cancers who are dealing with litigations this week. Any court systems is, you know, involved will be in your favor. You have to look at the character here as the judge who sides in your favor. Anything that was uh, dealt you in a wrong way, the justice comes and um, makes it right, okay? So we have the justice here on our side to balance all of that energy off. Workman's comp, always get workman's comp in your somebody's favor, okay? Up next here, Cancer, we have Stand Your Ground, which is the Seven of Wands. So any decisions moving forward or any actions this week moving forward, you must stand your ground because if you don't, Cancer, this is my card of regret. So pay attention. All right, next up here for you, Cancer. Oh, we got the Three of Swords. Hmm. All right, let's follow through with the energies here. I'm not too pleased, but heartache and loss. Three of Swords is always that unwelcoming card that comes through to disrupt everything else. But I still feel that there's more powerful positive energies that we need to... Um, outweigh and the three of swords when i always uh did readings uh previous readings for you cancer i always say it's not going to be for every crab that comes through and sees this video but it may be that um it is for someone and they'll know exactly why the three of swords is here but the three of swords an explanation could mean so many different things to so many people it all depends on what it, you know whatever it is that you're going through however according to um you know, the energies, it's heartache and loss, separation. So that means uh, breakups. It means divorce, pending divorces, third party in play when it comes to romance, three conflicting energies that may involve your family, your friends, romantic partners, couples that are together, but there may be some sort of distance that separates them that brings on the sadness. Pet loss, the pet gets away, doesn't physically die, but the family is left grieving. Whatever this Three of Swords may mean for you, it is here. Hopefully it's not too much of a uh, situation. Oh my gosh, okay. And I always, you know, move forward with the energy, because tarot is direct. That's one thing you cannot do is full tarot. 
And so I'm, this is just generalized readings and energies here. So, you know, like I said, um, we always keep our fingers crossed for the most positive outcome that may occur. All right. On top of that is discontent and boredom. Now, I don't read this as that may apply because it's landing on the three of swords for someone. All right. But I read this as an equal number of cups socializing. Um, so, again, spending that quality time with family members, friends, romantic partners. And just, you know, just to swing back here in terms of a message, this three of swords is underneath this lover's card. Even though I said everything moving forward in terms of your interactions and um, connections with people this week, you really shouldn't have any problems. But it may be something that I'm seeing here that's already been underway for some cancers in terms of a separation from a relationship or maybe an actual divorce that is occurring. Okay. You know, I always try to keep it real. But anyway, this is interacting with your family members, romantic partners, friends, socializing, having a good time. Possibly there may be, um, you know, eating out at restaurants or diners as well. Following the Four of Cups, now we have uh, another chakra this is the solar plexus chakra so again it may be something that is activated but um the solar plexus chakra yeah, chakra is the third chakra in a line of seven chakras and is um located below our chest cancer right uh being that it's related um i'm sorry being that it's located, not related, below our chest, it has a lot to do with uh, esteem, our self-esteem, our pleasure, um, our willpower, what else? And also um, our personal responsibility. If it is here and it's imbalanced, it could just simply mean that... Um, Something that may lead to depression and then having difficulties in relationships. And then having self-discipline, a lack of self-discipline. So whatever I said that was positive in the front, when it's not being activated, then it's on the um, giving us negative attributes, then those are the things that will impact us or affect us ne on a negative, you know, lack of self. Um, oh, gosh. The issues with personal relationships. Um, the imbalance part that I'm talking about. But I feel that because we have the justice card here that balances everything out in all matters, I don't want you guys to worry too much about that. I want you to worry about um, the positive aspects that I've given you, okay? But I'm just letting you know what else could be, you know, coming forth if it is not activated in the right way. Following the solar plexus chakra, we have the movement choices and decisions. This is the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles could mean a small pay raise for some cancers this week. Doing two things, could be working two jobs, just, you know, basically figuring out, um, you know, your financial, balancing your checkbook. And or you can apply the words that are written at the bottom of this card. There's some sort of movement going on here. We already got the chariot. Choices to make and then also, you know, decisions. But if there's any um, movement or decisions, remember the seven of wands. Um, yeah. Yeah, Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Move forward, Cancer. On top of the um, Two of Pentacles, we have the Fulfillment of Wishes. Now, this is the Nine of Cups. So, again, what you're hoping for, praying for, may manifest for you this week here. We already have the uh, Chariot, our own energies that I equate, <clears throat> you know, with that of the Star card. And I also equate this. So, we have a double strength of that energy of the Star energy right right here yes answer to all romantic questions and also too could be um whatever it is that you're wishing for praying for hoping for will manifest for you this week social media social networking all of that falls underneath the 
nine of cups. It is not an even number of cups, Cancer, but on an emotional scale, definitely what you give is what you're going to get back in return. Last card I have for us, Cancer, is the positive movement forward. This is the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles is here, and it simply means that, um, well, there's something positive. Could be that pay raise. It's still considered balanced energy. That balanced energy could be stressed out again in other areas of your life. Using this deck, when I get this card or draw this card, I always see that there could be some cancers who may be um, considering a cruise or has a you know a future cruise coming up, or there could be a trip that's um, coming up in the near future where that wherever you end up will be water beaches and boats all right so this is what i have for us this week cancer um just remember it's soul from intuitive tarot giving you my best impressions of what i feel the potential may uh you know express itself this week but you know take what's going to work for you leave the rest alone however please like the video Share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. With the Towers uh, Force of Energy here, I always throw in that extra word of caution and safety. Um, you know, you just have to be vigilant and just note that this too shall pass. Like, whatever happened for me last week has passed. <laughs> Hopefully, it's going to be a better week. Anyway, come back to get more of these messages from me, Cancer, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.